Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you, 8 ideas how to break your addiction to work. Now let's begin. 1. An unbalanced life. We live in a culture, where work demands our complete allegiance. At the same time, it can be extremely enriching. You feel challenged by your work, you're attached to it, you're learning new things. But, it is harmful to live an unbalanced life with too much focus on work and never truly being, off. It is detrimental to your relationships, your health, and your productivity. 2. Redefine success. Reconsider how you define success. Workaholics are always aiming to get ahead. But you also need to draw a boundary line that shows respect for your family life, and your physical and spiritual well-being. 3. Refocus your attention. After you have redefined success, consider how you want to invest your time and energy. There will always be more work to be done, but make a choice to spend your time elsewhere, with family, friends, or in your community. And when you spend time with your family or friends, do so with undivided attention. 4. Reset expectations. When trying to break an addiction, enlist the help of family, friends or colleagues for accountability and support. Reset the expectations of your boss and coworkers. Be clear about the changes you are making and the reason for the change. 5. Digital detox. For digital detoxing, experiment with different solutions. Put your smartphone away. Put your smartphone out of reach after the workday is done. Don't use your phone as a time filler. It can be a tough habit to break but it will help you to live in the moment. Model better manners at the office. Tapping away in your phone while someone else is talking is disrespectful. 6. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is practicing non-judgmental awareness in the present moment. Mindfulness can be helpful for trying to break addiction to work. It helps you to get a sense of control and be deliberate about your choices. 7. Prioritizing health. You can work productively in a creative way for only a certain number of hours per day. Even then, you need proper sleep, nutrition, and exercise for more energy and better focus. Also consider your family, friends, co-workers, and clients, who count on you and your good health. 8. Principles to remember. There are some do's and don'ts. Do. Redefine personal success to be more about high-quality relationships, community engagement, and physical and spiritual wellness. Be intentional about how you choose to spend your time and with whom you spend it. Try mindfulness. Don't. Go it alone, enlist the help of colleagues, family, and friends. Automatically reach for your phone. Be sparing on exercise, sleep, and wholesome food. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this post, don't forget to subscribe.